Good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Echo with Echo Flow Yoga. I am very excited to bring this practice to you guys today, especially because I have my friend Louis here playing the handpan with us. His sound is called Omnewa. And so we'll have beautiful hand pan playing in the background. And also, I have to reassure you that we are in a small Puebla here in Mexico. So you will hear the sound of announcements and honking and trucks and maybe a few dogs running through the yoga mat at times. But I encourage you to stay present with your practice and to simply be. Today's practice is focused on self-resourcing the nervous system. So the beauty of our yoga practice is we're not just making these wonderful shapes with our body, but we're also beginning to change our, you know, our neurochemistry, the way that our brains think, the way that our the way that we react to the world around us. And when we're not self-regulated in the nervous system, this can bring out anxiety, it could bring up depression, it could bring up other dysregulated ways of interacting with the human experience. And so the beauty of what's happening on the yoga mat is even if you're not sure what energies you're playing with in each of these postures, that if you're just mindful, that you focus on the breath, that you stay present and you're just here in your space, that you can come into equilibrium, you can find more peace in the, physiolo the physiology of the body as well as the mental. So let's start seated. We're going to sit up nice and tall through the spine. Let the shoulders relax down your back and we want to start with breath. So allow the eyes to soften. Allow the brow and the jawline to soften. And we come into full yogic breath. So full yogic breath is this big belly breath that expands all the way up the chest. So meaning when we inhale through the nostrils, let your belly expand out like a little Buddha belly. Let the breath come up through the diaphragm across the rib cage into the chest. And when you exhale, just allow yourself to sigh it out through the nostrils, no sigh. It's a nice full inhalation. And exhalation. And Louis, feel free, you could play whenever. Your sound is much more beautiful than the sound of grocery announcements in the background. <laughs> so continue with your breath. Let the belly pull out. Let the belly really release. We pull it in so much. Let the belly open up as you pull in that inhalation through the nostrils. Nice smooth exhalations through the nostrils. inhalations filling completely up fill your cup nice smooth exhalations let it out and let it be easeful make sure your shoulders aren't shrugging up as you inhale let it be easeful fill up until you need no more and then release And if you do anything in your practice, in your daily life, if you feel under-resourced, if you feel anxious, if you feel stressed, if you feel out of your body, you always have your breath. Even when you have no other, even when you feel lonely or disconnected, your breath is your friend. So continue to breathe these full yogic breaths, three more rounds. Really let the belly expand on the inhalation. Feel the air, that pranic force traveling up the body and exhale, sighing it out through the nose. I like to say sighing even though you're just releasing through the nostrils. Two more. And feel the body relaxing and surrendering into space. This is the first step of self-resourcing is becoming allies with your breath, your prana, your life force. And come back into natural breath. Let's take an inhale. Sweep the arms up overhead nice and slow. Exhale, draw hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Notice if you rush through the movements. Let the journey be a part of the practice. 
inhale, sweep the arms up, take your time. Not rushing from point A to B, exhale, hands come to heart center, samastiti. Let the head bow to the heart for a moment and bring in intention for your practice. It doesn't need to be grandiose, it can be small, it can simply be to be present, to be conscious, to be aware. We begin our practice with one collective om. Take an inhale to prepare and begin. Om. Beautiful. Bring the eyes to open. Bring the right hand to the outside of the left rib cage. Left hand to the right shoulder. Hold the body here and embrace. Sit up nice and tall. You could find a focal point forward. And you can also shut the eyes down. So what I encourage here for those of us that specifically begin to dissociate from the body and go into the mind, if you go into fantasy or to that movie screen of the mind, open the eyes, find a focal point forward, stay in the here and now, find beauty in the here and now. As we sometimes get so lost in our internal landscapes that we find it very challenging to be here in the moment. Continue to breathe easy in and out of the nostrils. Let's take five more rounds of breath here, nice and slow. So this practice is not about creating lots of shapes and moving quickly. It's about slowing down, grounding, bringing our energy in to soothe us, to ground us, to nurture us. Two more breath cycles. Slowly let go of the embrace. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Go ahead and come onto the hands and the knees. Come into a tabletop position. <clears throat> and take an inhale, let the belly drop, look forward. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Now I want you to get creative. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. And exhale, begin to round back towards the heels. Get creative. The belly can drop on the inhale. And on the exhale, round back. So this is a part of self-resourcing as well. Continue to move. It's about being your own embodied, empowered individual, doing what feels best for you. See what your body senses and tunes into. Pause in areas of curiosity. And you can add in extra movements, maybe lifting an arm up as you sit back, find length through the lateral line. And there is no right and wrong. Just allow yourself to be individually that expression. Let's take two more breaths. And come back to neutral. Tuck the toes under. Press the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Slight bend in the knees. Press the hips back and up and feel the ground beneath you. So another part of self-resourcing is orienting yourself. So notice where you are. Feel your containment. Feel your safety here on your yoga mat. Ekana is crying in the background, our little puppy. Slowly walk the feet forward so we orient to the ground beneath us, the air around us, the sound, the temperature. Take an inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins, flat back. And exhale, fold. Part of that orientation as well is tuning into our senses. So inhale, come up halfway. And notice which of the muscles is contracting and strengthening. Exhale, fold. And tune in. Tune into this extraordinary gift you've been given your body. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Arrive with hands alongside the body, ground down through the feet, slight bend in the knees. And again, orienting ourselves to the stability beneath us. Feel your containment and also feel your ability to be uniquely you. Get curious in your practice. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bow down, send the hips back, let the chest fold down. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, send the right foot to the back of the mat, right knee to the earth, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, send the hips back to the right heel, come down to the fingertips, left toes point up. So we're getting a little dynamic here and playful. Inhale, bend into the left knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, hips to the right heel, fold over the left shin, toes up. Like your little prey in the Safana. Inhale, reach up. And forward. Exhale, bow and back. Be playful. Inhale, up. And exhale, back. So find your fluidity here. Last one. Inhale, up. And exhale, back. Inhale, come forward, bend into the left knee, step forward, fold. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot to the back of the mat, left knee down, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana. Shoulder blades coming down the back. Relax the muscles in the face, maybe smile a little bit. And let yourself relax into the pose. Relax where there's contraction, take an inhale. Exhale, hips to the left heel. Maybe the left toes tuck under, right toes point up, fold over the right shin. Inhale, come forward, bend the right knee, reach up. Exhale, bring the hips back, fold over the right shin. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, fold onto the fingertips, nice and light. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, back and down. Last one, inhale forward, bend the right knee, reach up. Exhale, hands to the ground, step forward, fold. Bend into the right knee, come down onto the right fingertips. Inhale, stretch the left arm up, twisting open. Take an inhale. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, left fingers point down, right arm stretching up, twisting open. Inhale, and exhale. Take the feet as wide as the yoga mat, bend the knees, sink the hips, come down to yogi squats. We open into the hips, palms together, let the elbows open the knees up wide. And again, a big part of self-resourcing is after the heart begins to beat, as we begin to move energy, coming into stillness, integrating, metaphorical for life on the mat and life off the mat, can we pause? Can we take these sacred moments of stillness? And bring the right hands to the outside of the right foot, but inside of the right knee, left arm stretching up, get nice and open, twisting open. Take an inhale. And exhale, bring the left hand down to the outside of the left foot, right arm stretching up and open. Take an inhale. And exhale, hands to the earth, forward fold. So a bit of a wider forward fold here. And you can even turn towards the left of your mat here. Bring the feet out a little bit and just, or bring the feet in, sorry, bend the knees and fold down. Inhale, slowly rise to standing, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. There's some interesting announcements happening right now. Bring hands to the hips, pigeon toe the feet out towards the front and back of your mat. Sink the hips down. Bend the knees nice and wide, hands resting on the knees. 
and bring your right shoulder into the midline. Look back over the left shoulder. Come back through center, left shoulder into the midline. Look over the right. We have onlookers. <laughs> then come back through center. We'll go ahead and come up to standing. Swivel back towards the front of your mat. Hands to the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. Slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Come onto the tiptoes, bend the knees, sink down onto the hips, and come into boat pose. Lifting the feet up, bend the knees, hands alongside the body, open the heart space. So building that internal fire, getting into our core here. And having a strong, steady core is everything in the physical body creating safety for the internal organs here. And it might not be as pleasurable, but very important. Set the feet down, take a hold of the front of the shins. Let the head drop in through the center. So feel nice and long through the back of the neck. And slowly come up, bring the head up. Set the left knee down, bring the left foot by the right glute. Bring the right foot to the outside of the left knee. And we're gonna hug the right knee in with the left elbow and turn back to the right. And you might even want the left elbow outside the right knee. Take one more breath in. And exhale, slowly turn towards the left. Come back behind you to the left onto the fingertips and just slight twist, look back. This is like a sexy couch, I like to think. I'm in a sexy couch right now. So you could just giggle at yourself a little bit here. Or you could pose, bring your right hand to the back of your head. Doing my sexy Shiva couch right now. All right, come back through center. And let's cross the legs the other way. Left foot to the outside of the right knee, right foot by the left glutes. You could hug the left knee in with the right elbow or bring right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Twist back to the left. I love Ekinat's little cry. Where are you? Come here. One more breath in. And exhale, twist to the right now. Come on to the right fingertips, back to the right. Nice open chest. You could do your sexy couch. Ekinat is having a fit down off the platform. Come here, baby. and come back through center. Easy seat, we'll come into a short little mindfulness before we end practice so we can listen to the hand pan and you know, crying dogs and announcements in the background as well. But again, stay present to your practice. Hands resting on the knees, palms shining up. Let the shoulders relax. And again, let the eyes Relax behind closed eyelids. Let the lips be slightly parted. And we're just here for a minute or so more, so allow yourself to settle into stillness. Enjoy the sound of Mr. Louis and the grocery announcements in the background. <laughs> This is the most important part of the practice. When we're not moving, when we're in integration, are we able to be in stillness? Are we able to stop the mental fluctuations of the mind? We can't stop them, but can we at least begin to dissolve them for some time? We look for those gaps in between from one mental fluctuation to the next. Bring the hands.
hands together at heart center, bowing head to heart. And having gratitude for showing up today, even for these small practices, five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, hour, two hours. The times that we're able to come into a deep space of mindfulness and introspection with our highest self, our higher good, the closer we come to that regulation, to the regulation of the nervous system, of our mental fluctuations, and in the middle of chaos and loud noises and all the distractions, we become very centered in our being. And I wish that for you. Namaste, dear yogis. Mm, thank you so much for playing for us today. Thank you guys for joining us today and continue to practice with myself or other people or with yourself. Just keep breathing, keep moving, keep being and do your best to stay present in a world of overstimulation. So subscribe, stay in tune and I hope to see you on the mat in 3D one day. Mwah. <laughs>